It had been almost 20 years since the city of Detroit held anything regarding the NFL last hosting the Super Bowl in 2006. And there were some rumors floating around that Detroit would never host another Super Bowl ever. I guess the experience was just that miserable that they refused to take a bid for our city after almost 20 years. So a few years ago, they give the city of Detroit the draft bid for 2024. And the weird thing about this is this was announced back in, I want to say, March of, of 2023. No, March of 2022 is when the draft was announced because it was at that moment that we also heard that the Detroit Lions were going to be on hard knocks. And like I said earlier, the reason that supposedly, allegedly rumored that they did that is because they said internally that the Detroit city of Detroit would never host anything ever. We would never get another Super Bowl. Well, I think that they're going to change their mind. The city of Detroit, not only did they show up, but they showed out and they shattered the attendance records for NFL draft attendance, which was previously held by the city of Nashville. Check this out. Detroit had never hosted a draft prior to, and that courtesy sign is wrong, had never hosted a draft prior to this year, but we hosted Super Bowl XL in 20. 2006 on Thursday commissioner Roger Goodell announced that Detroit set the record for day one attendance with more than 275,000 fans in attendance we had drew 50 550,000 in two days and then we broke the record on Saturday finally amassing 775,000 People that attended the draft, which blows the previous record by almost 200,000 out of the, the water. It was 600,000 and now it is 775,000. A lot of numbers I'm saying there. This was outstanding. And first, and let me just go back, man. I drove past the Detroit sign today. I must admit, it doesn't look as bad as it did on TV or the photos. If you actually drive past it, I don't like the color, but it doesn't look as bad as it did on the photos. But to whoever disgraced the sign and painted on the D, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. But doesn't look that bad. But going back to the draft attendants. And the fact that for the majority of the day, of the weekend, I didn't hear anything locally of any badness happening, not only at the draft, but throughout the city. And all you heard is how, and this is why I think we're going to have something back here. All you heard from Roger Goodell, from almost every person that came out, is how the city of Detroit put on. And they were very thankful for what we, we were able to do. And I think that the idea of Detroit, for whatever reason, was under was thought of to be one thing, but it's now a completely different thing. And I think because of this, the NFL is going to bring a Super Bowl back to Detroit. Now, it probably won't be until the 2030s in that time, some in that time frame, if they do it. I think when you come out, you shatter the NFL draft record. Like all of the places ever since they left Radio City Music Hall, all of the places that have hosted the draft since, and we broke the record, and then we broke the record without any badness happening, and then all you heard from all the NFL players and all the draft people is how good of a show we put on and how welcoming the city was. I think that we have earned another Super Bowl bid. We have yet to see, but I think we very proud of the city. A lot of people don't think I live in Detroit. Well, currently I don't live in Detroit. I live just outside the city. Ford Field is about a 15 minute drive for me. Just drive downtown. I go down, I go downtown at least three times a week during my uh, drop offs, my delivery drop offs that I do. And I've met plenty of people in at Ford Field. So those guys can vouch for me, although I don't need anybody vouching for me. But it's about time that the city of Detroit was was put on in a different light. 
in a different light, man. I'm, I'm so proud of the city. I'm so proud to be a Detroiter. At, 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 I'm always proud to be a Detroiter, but the fact that my city came and represented, I was unable to go just something, 400,000 people, just something I just can't be really involved with, but I had an obligation to the people that couldn't be there. And that is what I did. And, and I had a blast doing that. But shout out to those guys that went down there. I hope the prospect enjoyed themselves. And I look forward to hearing that we get a Super Bowl bid coming very soon. Now, I got an announcement, like I said before, that the the lion, the giveaway that the lion y'all fell in love with, nobody claimed it. Nobody claimed it. And surprisingly, I haven't heard a lot in the comment section any excitement about this. But we have to do a re-giveaway. I, I will come with the announcement, so make sure you hit that notification bell after you subscribe or in some cases resubscribe because, you know, a lot of people were in their feelings this this past weekend like they don't know how your boy roll. And guess what else? This one I'm going to do, too. I got a I got a uh, something I'm going to do when I don't this was kind of unexpected. Here we go. Somebody said something about a particular position and a particular thing that I want. So every time I say those two words, I'm going to hit this button. And those two words are I don't know if that worked. Nope, it didn't. Let's try that again. Those two words are When I say the two words instead of saying the words you will hear me say. So hopefully that worked. People said they told they they just they've heard it so much. You know, I understand. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below about the Detroit city of Detroit breaking the record. And we didn't just break it. We obliterated on night one and for the totality of the NFL draft. Have you seen the Detroit sign? What did you think of it? And if you came down to the draft, tell me about your experience. And before we roll up out of here, I got to give a shout out to my man, the myth, the legend. It's too easy. And the wonderful, lovely Katie as well. I didn't know they were on. Somebody told me they were on Inside the Den. I have yet to watch it. Been a busy weekend. I did see their video. Uh, shout out to those guys, man. Those are those are that that's a fan. Those are fans that I sometimes wish I could be. Can't be those. I can't be that type of fan. No, no disrespect. They are what fandom is all about and they do a phenomenal job, but I just can't be that type of fan. So we need those type of fans in there. And shout out to those guys. Got to check out Inside the Den. Uh, I will be getting season tickets, though. I, I will be doing that because I do want to spend more time at Ford Field. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And have you watched Inside the Den? And what did you think of Easy and the lovely, wonderful Katie? She just seems like a nice person. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. It's too easy. That's my man.